My name is Michael Kavanaugh. I'm a certified prosthetist, orthotist, and a lecturer at NUPOC. But we went through some kind of basic biomechanics and anatomy of the foot and ankle, and then we talked about uh, normal versus functional range of motion and uh, how to measure plantar pressures of the foot uh, clinically and uh, using both analog and digital systems. It just exposes them to this career as an option. I would say just the exposure alone and kind of a glimpse of what uh, as a clinician in orthotics and prosthetics, what you, we, you know, the kind of things you'd be doing day in, day out and looking for. I'm Stefania Fautone and I'm a professor in the Department of Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation and I'm a, a full-time research faculty here at NUPOC. Today's activity, the students were exposed to um, an assessment of foot posture and then by engaging in an activity where they could use a pressure uh, mat with ink to look at foot uh, pressures and those foot pressures tell us something about the foot structure and the potential uh, issues that that foot structure might create. I'm Jared from Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Today I thought it was really cool actually. My favorite part was um, talking to Dr. Wu. The biggest takeaway from that was whether it's high tech or low tech, it doesn't matter as long as it's the right tech. I'm Tanvi and I'm from Huntley, Illinois. I really loved it. I've always wanted to go into prosthetics ever since I was in freshman year and it was really interesting to see it like in real life instead of reading it from books or watching videos. The coolest thing that I saw was the do-it-yourself prosthetic, a prosthetic just out of sand. I really like that because it's efficient and it saves money and it's what I want to do when I'm older. 